Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am starting a new series called hashtag make my channel great. So in this series, I'm pretty much just going to be showing you guys um, tools that you guys can use to make your channel great. So I know for myself, I've been on YouTube for a while now, while now off and on, and I've learned a lot of stuff by trial and error. And so I just want to share with you guys um, a whole bunch of things that you guys can use to make your channel better and help you grow your channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your custom banner. Um, in my opinion, it's very important to have like a professional looking banner. So I'm going to show you guys how to make one in less than, I guess, what, like five minutes. So yeah, so stay tuned if you guys want to see how I make a custom banner for my YouTube channel. So we are on pickmonkey.com. So what we're going to do is we are going to select design. We're going to select custom. So we're going to change the pixel size to the YouTube banner pixel size, which is two. 2560 by 1440 okay once we do that we're going to hit make it okay so now we have our size so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go on the left hand side and we're going to select overlays and overlays we're going to add our own overlay so we're actually going to add the template as our guide for this YouTube banner. So this template, you can actually, if you Google YouTube template, you can actually save this to your desktop and up, upload it on here as your overlay. So now we're going to stretch out the template so it fix, fits the size of the, the white area that we have here. So this template is actually gonna be our guide where we're gonna place our wording and everything for our banner. So this is actually an important step. Okay, so next we're gonna grab the background that we're gonna use. This is optional. If you want, um, you can use a color background, but I wanna use the actual like picture background that I've saved from um, Google search. So I'm gonna, we're gonna add our own template again, and I'm just gonna select a background that I have saved in my picture folder. So we're gonna stretch out this so that it covers the template. I know what you guys are thinking. Okay, how are we supposed to know where everything's supposed to go? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna fade the picture. So you see the overlay box and I'm using the fade option and I'm moving it back and forth so I can fade it so I can see where we're gonna put the text. Okay, so the next portion is our wording. So we're going to go to the text portion and we're going to select the words that we want to use once again i have the paid membership version so i have a lot more words to choose from it's actually really cheap if i'm not mistaken i think it's only like five dollars a month and it's so worth it um i just like the fact that i have all the words together at once so i'm just going to play with the words and figure out which one i want to use i'm like really picky when it comes to stuff like this so bear with me in this video. So I'm just trying to figure out which one I'm going to use. But yeah, I need to hurry up. Okay, so we can try this dead hardy one and see how that looks. And we go to add text. It pops up on the screen and I can type in what I want to type in as my banner. So you can actually put whatever you want over here. You can put your website name, um, your YouTube name, all that stuff in there. So that's what I'm doing right here. It actually came out ugly, so I ended up just changing the words. And next, I'm just gonna make the words bigger. So I'm gonna grab, pull at the corner so I can make it bigger and I'm gonna position it where I wanna position it. Okay, so after I position, I can actually um, add some overlays. Just, you know, I guess to add some graphics to my banner so we're gonna go to overlays and we're just gonna select maybe a few couple picks that can go next to it overlays that can go next to it um once again i have a lot more to choose from which you guys would choose from if you're not under the paid membership so we're just gonna select the lips move where we want to move it um you can actually move the lips behind the text if you right click it and hit send to back it's gonna send it backwards so it can be actually behind the text and then we can go and maybe select some other stuff to add behind the text. You can just play with it however you want to see what you like. And that's just what I'm doing here. I'm just playing with it and see what I like. Um, I know for me, anytime I do any type of editing like this, I'm really picky. So I play with a lot of stuff and I just moved around and forgot what I like. 
Okay, so also what you guys can do, you can actually download your own overlay if you want. So you don't actually have to use the ones that are on here. You can actually um, download your custom overlay. So what we're going to do after this, we're actually going to Google search some overlays that we can use. So I'm actually going to open up another browser and we're going to Google um some overlays so what you can do is if you just google maybe like flower png it'll already have a overlay that has a clear background so you don't have to um edit it yourself and i'm about to show you guys in a few seconds once i get my life together with this search bear with me it's my first time recording the screen okay so i have these overlays we're going to go to the images and we're going to select one so as you can see, when you click on it, you see the boxes that are, that's behind it. That means it's clear. So if I use this overlay, it's going to be clear behind it. So I'm actually going to save it as an image. I'm going to save it to my folder. And then we're going to go back to PicMonkey. And we're going to um, actually add our own overlay. And we're going to pull it from the images that we saved. And I'm actually going to delete these other ones that I put on here. Because, yeah, not really. We're not really filling them anyway. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select it, and we're going to add it to our background. So as you can see, it's big, so I'm just making it smaller. Um, you can actually move it around if you want, twist it upside down, however you want it to look, and position it. Again, it's in front of the words, so what I can do is I can send backwards. Be careful when you do this, because I actually selected the picture instead. So, um, and I actually had to hit the back button, so I had to go back and fix it. So, make sure you select the actual picture that you're trying to send backwards. Okay, so here we go. So, I'm going to click on it again, and we're going to, you can send it backward. So, it can just go behind the text and not anything else because it's in front of everything. So, yeah, so this is pretty much what I have so far. Like I said, you can add as much stuff as you want to want as you want. Just be sure to use the guidelines. The guidelines are there for a reason, and you're gonna see why we have the guidelines. So after I do that, I'm actually gonna select the, the background again and I'm gonna fade it back to the normal color so you don't see anything. And then there's actually a button at the bottom where you can combine the picture so it sticks everything together. And then we are going to save it. So you can save it whatever name you want to save it. And save it into whatever folder you want to save it. And then we're actually going to add it to our background. Um, at, at, we're actually going to add it as our banner on YouTube. Okay. So now that it's saved, I am going Plugging in my YouTube, going to www.youtube.com, and it's going to pull up my YouTube if this thing moves fast enough. Okay, so I'm on my YouTube channel, so we're going to go to my main page, my channel. So I already have a banner up here, but I'm just putting this up so you guys can see. So we're going to hit the edit button, edit channel art. And we're going to, you can either drag it in there, or you can select the folder. I'm just selecting the folder. So I'm selecting it and adding that on there. It's going to upload. So as you can see, it fits perfectly. And you can even adjust it, but we don't need to adjust it because we made it exactly in the exact same, exact size that we needed it for. And now we have to save. So that is how you make a custom YouTube banner. So it doesn't cost anything. Um, and yeah, so like, I hope that this was helpful. If you guys like videos like this, please let me know. I would love to do more videos like this so you guys can learn how to do stuff like this on your channel so you guys don't have to pay anybody to do it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, bbhawaii underscore, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, be sure to check out my other videos. I make beauty videos, my advice videos, and my hair videos. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram and my Twitter, which is bbhawaii underscore. Thank you guys so much again, and I will see you guys in my next video.